Hey everyone, welcome to part three of the Hocus Pocus spell book build. So, so far we have got the book built, the stitches on, and all the clay um, parts fastened and ready for paint. And that's what this video is going to be. It's just going to be really quick, really short, and it's just going to be about painting um, this clay on the book. If you're new here, my name's Kat. If you are already a subscriber, hi, welcome back. Um, I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Um, so this is part three of this video series and if you like it, hit the thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below, subscribe and hit the bell for uh, more notifications on my upcoming videos. So hey everyone, um, so this is our finished, well semi-finished um, book. It, it does look a little bit messy and obviously I'm still picking these off and cleaning them. But a couple things I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using some acrylic paints. I've got the Silver Morning Crafters Acrylic. I've got a Neon Green. I've got a Folk Art Metallic Green. I've also got a Folk Art uh, Silver Anniversary and a Metallic Sequin. And so these um, like the clasp and the snakes are going to go kind of a black with a silver finish on them and then I will go ahead and do green and I've got a smaller paintbrush out um, <clears throat> I like using it for details so what I've done is I've mixed there is some black underneath this silver this is a terrible paint palette to use because it's been so used but I'm just gonna kind of muddle that all up and make kind of like a dark metallic-y finish if you don't want it metallic, just stick with the mattes. Use your use your imagination and whatever colors you want. I do like the color of the clay itself, but I do think that it needs to be finished with um, some paint. So I am just going to go ahead and paint this out. And we will do the um, fingers green and we'll do some green detailing as well. Um, I like using acrylic paints and you can seal it if you want to. Um, I Because it's going to be indoors, I'm not going to seal it, but some of the clear sealers are really, really good. Just go to your local hardware store and grab a spray sealer. I would go matte. I wouldn't go uh, with any type of like shiny finish only because I don't think this book deserves to be shiny. I think it deserves to be kind of dirty and kind of gross and grotesque. I see I put my snake on the backwards here. That's okay. Like I said, art is your inter interpretation of the uh, item and that that's kind of the best part about art is that it um, is what you think it should look like. And you see by just kind of adding a little bit of this metallic, it is a little bit opaque can, compared to like something like this where it is a paint any of the metallics are going to be a lot more opaque than your regular paints but that's kind of fun too because i do like seeing the clay through here and i always make sure i i dab all the glue spots there's a piece chunk right there Ooh, i'm just going to pull the book apart so this is a delicate build like i said this for me is just like kind of a show prop to sit up on a um to sit up on my shelf. I don't want to be using this book and if you've used this application on building, I wouldn't recommend it. It will be delicate and it will be kind of a little bit, it won't take the movement as much. And this uh, acrylic dries really, really quickly. So that um, that is really nice. And you can add more, you can water it down with some water, add less. And I'll just show you quickly what I'm going to do with the fingers on the side. So as you can see, I do have, um, you can see kind of the glops of glue, which is okay as well. So I'm going to take my neon and I'm going to mix it. Let's see if I have any of this neon left. My, I had my daughter and my niece painting a couple of weeks ago and they quite like this neon kind of color, which is fine. And then I'm going to go in with my metallic um, green from Folk Art. I'm, like I said, I'm running low on supplies, but that is just how it is during quarantine. And then I'm going to take some of this silvery kind of color and add that to the mix, just a dab. 
just to kind of give it that kind of mossy green color. Sorry about the messy palette. I use them all the time. So I'm just going to go in on the sides and paint these fingers out just like this. I like doing the different uh, colors in it. I'm going to eventually paint these fingernails black. So just keep that in, on your radar that the fingernails will go black. I have seen people do use like artificial or fake fingernails from like the dollar store. If you want to put that much money into your build, you go for it. Or if you don't, don't bother. So this is kind of just really loose painting. It's, this isn't my like everyday kind of gonna sit down and paint a landscape painting. This is just gonna be a messier kind of paint. Um, I decided that I want the glops of green kind of there. So yeah, just kind of paint it out. And this is gonna be the final uh, edition of this video series. If you want more builds, if you are um, someone who is a builder, subscribe and hit me up. We can, you know, make a community out of this. And that's always fun. I love Halloween builds. I love any prop builds. Um, yeah, that's just kind of how this is gonna go. Then I'm just gonna take some of that blacky silver stuff and just paint the nails out. Just to kind of give them some depth and definition. A little bit of difference in there. They don't have to be too perfect and if you make them too perfect it looks too staged. And then I might just add a little bit of green like in kind of places that I think it should. So that's kind of it for this prop build you guys. Thank you all for stopping in. It was so nice to see you. So nice to meet you. This is kind of what we're looking at. This is the build we made. Check all the videos on the how to and I can't wait to see your books. So hit me up in the comments, like, subscribe, hit the notifications. Let me know how your builds went. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you all for stopping by. My name was Kat, if you missed that at the top of the video. This was part three of the Hocus Pocus Spellbook build and I will see you guys again.